ingredients to get to know God. Ingredients to get to know God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Hey, welcome to Weed and Barley. This is a place where you get the ingredients to get to know God. Congratulations to each and every one of you for accomplishing this fast. Praise God. Hallelujah. God is so good. I'm telling you, we're living a fasted life. You say, you might look on this platform and say, oh man, you know, they're always fasting. Praise God. But we're living a fasted life. Hallelujah. As God is calling us into order. Praise God. This is not something that we're doing on our own. I get the instructions from the Holy Spirit as to how we're going to conduct this. And we move right along because he's doing some things in us. Praise God. He said our bodies will heal during this time, but also what he's doing is some healing. Praise God. So if you stuck to the fast as you were told to do, praise God, and meaning those instructions that were given and you just did the best that you could to follow those instructions within the time frame that you were given, praise God. I'm just telling you, watch what God does for you. Watch the uh, miraculous ways that he just show up in your life. If he has not already shown himself, encountered you already, praise God. Hallelujah. I'm excited, y'all. God is so good. This is the day that he has made and we shall be glad in it, praise God. This is day 21. We have accomplished this fast. This is communion, y'all. Hallelujah. I know some of you have done away with a lot of different things during this fast, praise God. And I'm just so grateful that you were obedient to the Lord and his call during this time because he is going to do mighty and great things through you in this world. Hallelujah. Because he knows that you are about his business, praise God. Hallelujah. And sometimes we have to die of ourselves, right? We have to die down this flesh in the mighty name of Jesus. This flesh can't get in the way of the business of God. Hallelujah. This flesh can't get in the way of the business of God. And so we have to have this mindset when we choose the Lord and we choose to follow him and we choose to be obedient unto him, praise God, we're choosing to die down this flesh and to be used by him according to whatever it is, whatever standards he set. That's it, y'all. Praise God. We are not a, of our own. We belong to him in Jesus' mighty name. And that's the true meaning of submitting to yielding to consecrating to the Lord. We are not of ourselves, but we are his. Hallelujah. And he gets to make the decisions regarding us, praise God, because we have stepped outside of our own free will, right? and relinquished it to Jesus Christ. What does that mean? We just handed it over. Say, you know what? I've been living my life. I did it my way, y'all. Praise God. Hallelujah. And this is a true testimony. I did it my way, y'all. Praise God. Hallelujah. It did not work out for me. The choices that I was making, praise God, they did not work out for me. I was very unhappy, praise God, with a lot of decisions, whether it was work, hallelujah, relationship. It just did not work out for me. So I, hallelujah, with my whole heart have just moved along and given it all up to Jesus Christ because I know that his plan is greater than any plan that I could ever create. And it's going to turn out better than what I could ever think of because he is in control and not me. See, he knocks on the uh, door of our hearts, right? But we have to welcome him in. We have to say, come on in, Jesus. Hallelujah. Make yourself out. You know, dwell here, praise God. This is a house of prayer. Dwell here. Do whatever you want. Kick your feet up, praise God. Hallelujah. Hang out. Stay. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, whatever that looks like for you, praise God. But I'm just telling you, for me, um, I just had to give it over to him in the mighty name of Jesus because my way, it just wasn't working out, y'all. Praise God. Hallelujah. That's the best way that I can... Um, even explain it in Jesus mighty name. So in this text, in chapter 19 of Luke, we learn that in the beginning, Zacchaeus, praise God, he was called and he was happy to receive Jesus in his home. So the Lord was letting us know today to be like Zacchaeus when he was called. Hallelujah. He ran ahead to get us to be able to see Jesus, praise God. And he was called when Jesus got to that ordained location, that divine location, he was called by name as Zacchaeus went. Praise God. Hallelujah. We got to be like that. When we're called by name, we just got to go. The Lord is calling. Praise God. Hallelujah. We got to put some things down. The Lord is calling. Praise God. Hallelujah. Do you understand? It was immediate and he welcomed him. Hallelujah. He didn't come up with an excuse about he had to do this. He had to do that. Or he got to go home and clean up for Jesus. You got to wait. You got to wait a little bit because I got to go home. You know, no, he was happy to receive him. You know, so we have to be ready. That's the whole point, y'all. Praise God. We have to be ready when Jesus calls. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm just so grateful to the Lord. And then we move right along to the servants with the master, praise God. They were given minas to go ahead and bring back an increase, but there was one who didn't do it. So that even that was taken away from him. But the ones who did, they were given authority over cities, praise God. One was given authority over uh, 10 cities and the other over five cities, praise God. The Lord will give you authority over some things, praise God. When you show yourself a good steward over the little, when you show yourself faithful over the little things that he give you, praise God. All right. So then we move right along to discipleship and those disciples, praise God, the ones following Jesus Christ as disciples, they were true servants, but they were in discipleship. And so they were doing exactly what Jesus was telling them to do. And they were saying what Jesus told them to say, praise God. They had pure instructions right in front of them and they were walking with the Lord. Hallelujah. And this just shows, praise God, he said to be like that. So to be like Zacchaeus, be like the servants, be like the disciples, praise God, be like that. Hallelujah. And this means that we are to apply these things to our lives. These experiences, these examples, let's apply them to our lives. Let, let's make them fit into our abode, praise God, into our ways and habits. Hallelujah. Every single day so that we can look like this, y'all. Hallelujah. We need to resemble what Jesus likes. We need to resemble these examples. Hallelujah. I'm telling you right now, God is so good. And then we come to the final example of chapter 19, which is Jesus himself turning over the tables in the temple, y'all. They were selling in the temple. Hallelujah. He turned over the tables. It was just some things he wasn't for, praise God. But you know what he did say? He said his house will be a house of prayer. So if you are his house, truly his house, praise God, you're going to be a house of prayer. You're going to praise him. You're going to worship him. It's going to be Jesus all over you and in you, praise God. Do you understand? Hallelujah. You're going to represent his house of prayer and it won't just be in words. It will be you. Hallelujah. It will be embedded in you. You will become the house of prayer. It will just be, hallelujah. You will be the house of prayer. You will walk, hallelujah, as a house of prayer. People will know you as a house of prayer. I got to call her, praise God, hallelujah, because because she's going to pray. Do you understand? Hallelujah. You have to be, be that praise God, become it in the mighty name of Jesus, because this is what the Lord says. He said his house would be a house of prayer. Praise God. I pray that you believe in and receive it. I pray that today when you were consecrated, that you were a house of prayer, that you were serving in your capacity, praise God, that you showed yourself as a disciple, being obedient to what Jesus said, hallelujah, doing what he has called you to do, praise God. And also that when he calls you, that you come like a Zacchaeus, hallelujah, and happily receiving Jesus Christ. These are the examples of submission that the Lord has given us for these 21 days, praise God. And I pray that you continue to apply them to your life because the Lord is sharing that we are on a lifetime of consecrating to him. We need to get to know our Lord and Savior deeper and greater every single day. This is not just, oh yeah, I did it. Hallelujah. And then tomorrow you go back doing regular stuff. No, this is a daily consecration, y'all. This relationship, let me tell y'all about a relationship, praise God. Hallelujah. I should know. Hallelujah. In a relationship, y'all, I know in, in, you know, let's say a marriage, praise God, you have uh, three people in the marriage, right? Praise God. Hallelujah. Two people in the spirit of God. You have God in your marriage. But let's say if you uh, don't uh, believe, praise God, you don't believe. And so it's just two people in the marriage, right? You already know that there are going to be so many challenges, even if those people decide that they're going to stay together. Um, they're, I, I can't even say that they're happy because joy comes from Jesus, right? So I can't tell you what that looks like. But what I can tell you, praise God, hallelujah, that a lot of marriages in the U.S. ends um, in divorce, praise God. And it's just the truth. But I do believe that if Jesus Christ was the center of these marriages, if both parties were really embedded in Jesus Christ and doing what they're called to do, it wouldn't be so many hiccups. It wouldn't be so many issues, right? Because everyone will be following along with the course in which they have been given, which is the business of God. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, praise God. And so in that when two people are come together in a relationship, let's say one person is uh, uh, doing the cooking, the cleaning, and um, paying the bills, praise God, doing all of those different things, and the other person's not really doing much of anything. Well, then when you really examine that relationship where it's supposed to be 
uh, a togetherness, you really find that only one person is pulling it along. Only one person is doing the job. Only one person, praise God. I mean, taking on the load, praise God. Hallelujah. And that wears a person out. That makes a person disgruntled. I'm talking real talk, y'all. It makes a person disgruntled. They don't want to do that, praise God. Hallelujah. And then you will see bickering and fighting and conflicts and things like that because it's not equal or it's not fair or or, or um, the husband isn't in his rightful place. Therefore, the wife isn't in her rightful place, you know, and when I'm saying rightful place, there are roles that we do have in a marriage, praise God. There are uh, places where we should be. You know, the head, husband is the head of the household. That's just it, y'all. Hallelujah. The Bible teaches us that. So let's let's lean back on the Bible. Lean back on the Bible, praise God. Hallelujah. And we're going to focus on what the Bible is teaching us about marriage, right? So when we put these principles uh, apply them to our lives, we'll start to see things come together as God has promised. He said the marriage bear uh, is not defiled. You know, there's blessings in marriages, praise God. When a man finds a, a wife, he finds a good thing. You know, it, it, and women honor your husbands, praise God. And um, the Lord is sharing this because in this, when we know this submission and this hierarchy and um, and I say hierarchy because there is a hierarchy in a marriage in honor, praise God. Um, and let me say it again, hierarchy, I in honor, in honor, praise God. We need to make sure that we are in our rightful places and it doesn't mean any less of you or that you should lessen yourself in any kind of way. It just means that there are particular roles and positions in which everyone has and we have to be in our rightful place because it's divine. It's not a, a carnal thing. It's not a fleshly thing, a human thing. This is a spiritual thing. And if you want to be in the right standing of the Lord, you want to get in the places in which he has uh, called for you to be in. Praise God. There are reasons why uh, Paul was sharing so much information. Hallelujah. There's a reason why Moses came. Hallelujah. With Moses law. There was a reason. Praise God. That was to bring order. And if you don't have laws, you don't have principles, ordinances, you know, if you don't have these things, praise God, then guess what? There's a disorder. There's chaos. Hallelujah. So yes, we do need order in the mighty name of Jesus. And I just pray that you believe in and receive it in Jesus' mighty name. And I wanted to share that because when one person is in, in a relationship doing it all, praise God, it's a lot of work and it's a burnout. Okay. It's a burnout process. And then you will start to see them getting disgruntled and even um, resentful and all of these different things when there's a balance in the Bible teaches us that balance. The Bible teaches us proper roles. The Bible teaches us Hallelujah. How the blessings flow. It, it, it does. Praise God. Hallelujah. So when we follow the Bible and apply it to our lives and you are wholehearted in it as a couple with Jesus Christ in the marriage, I'm telling you, it's a blessed marriage. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because God is so good and his word does not fall to the ground. All right. So in this right here, y'all, this is what we're supposed to be like going forward. So I know we just accomplished day 21. It's exciting y'all to accomplish these fast. Praise God. We'll be fasting again. Hallelujah. One is coming up really, really soon. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because I just saw it in the spirit before I came in. I don't have all the details, but I saw it in the spirit. Praise God. And I know the Lord is going to unveil it, but I just pray that you're ready to jump into this fast. And, um, you know, and the question is, uh, somebody may be wondering, like, do you ever get tired of fasting? I don't get tired of God. Okay. I don't get tired of my Lord and Savior. Praise God. And if he says to fast, then there's a reason. If he says to uh, fast back to back, there's a reason. If he's saying consecrate to him, there's a reason. Praise God. Hallelujah. And we're not, we don't know tomorrow. We don't know next week. We don't know a month from now how this world could easily turn, praise God. But when you have a relationship with God, when you're consecrated to God and you've been fasting and you're walking more spiritually than carnally, praise God, then you're going to identify what's happening in the world as a spiritual thing and then you can move spiritually. All right, praise God, hallelujah, hallelujah, die down that flesh in the mighty name of Jesus. So we're going to go ahead and do communion and then we're going to pray. Praise God. And I pray that you receive this message today in Jesus' mighty name. All right. So we're going to 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 11, starting at verse 23. And it reads, For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus in the night in which he was betrayed took bread. And when he had given thanks, thank you, Lord, he broke it and said, This is my body that which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me.
In the same way, he took the cup also after supper saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Therefore, whoever eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner shall be guilty of the body of the, and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself and so let him eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For he who eats and drinks, eats and drinks judgment to himself if he does not judge the body rightly. For this reason, many among you are weak and sick and in number sleep. Hallelujah. Let's pray. In the mighty name of Jesus, we just thank you, O oh Lord God, hallelujah, our Father who art in heaven, hallelujah. We come unto you as your humble children today, Father God, we come unto you, O oh Lord, hallelujah, praising you and worshiping you, O oh Lord, hallelujah, thanking you for our reconciliation to you, thanking you for this day 21 of this fast, O oh Lord, thank you for communion today as we are fellowshipping and praising you, O oh Lord, we're just so grateful that we are in your presence today, O oh Father God, thank you for teaching us a chapter 19 of Luke, Lord God, hallelujah, as we went through verse by verse, Lord God, parable hallelujah in the triumphant entry of jesus christ we're just so grateful that you unveil the mysteries of submission we're so grateful lord god that you gave us new examples that we can stand on regarding submission oh lord we thank you for strengthening our relationships all around oh father god we thank you for drawing us closer to you oh lord hallelujah we thank you for being concerned about our lives and our souls oh lord god hallelujah we thank you for giving us life and life more abundantly lord god we thank you for the encounters that you've given us oh father god Continue to strengthen us and increase us, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. Continue to enlighten us, O oh Lord. Continue to give us revelation and elevation on your word, O oh Father God. Continue to unfold mysteries in our lives, O oh Lord God. Continue to show us signs, miracles, and wonders, O oh Lord God. Hallelujah. Those who have been anointed for deliverance, O oh Father God, give them the power to deliver through the Holy Spirit, O oh Lord God. Hallelujah. Give them that dunamis power, O oh Father God. Hallelujah. That when they touch a person, Lord God, hallelujah, and speak your word, praise God that the enemy will flee in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord God, for the gifts that you're bestowing and opening up inside of us, oh Lord God. Hallelujah. Those who didn't even know they were a prophet identifying themselves as a prophet. Hallelujah. Because you identified them as that in the spirit, oh Lord God. And now they know that they know who they are. And now they know that they know that their purpose is identified. Hallelujah. And we're so grateful that you're doing it, oh Father God. We're so grateful that you have appointed us and aligned us to your will. We're so grateful, hallelujah, that we are beneficiaries of the will. Hallelujah. We're so grateful, oh Lord God, that you chose us to submit to you in this time. We're so grateful, Lord God, that you're calling us to a place of elevation on a mountain. We're so grateful, Lord God, hallelujah, that you have already shown some people or oh, their way down the mountain in order to give us our place on the mountain, oh Father God. We thank you, Lord God, for giving us increase. We thank you, Lord God, for the blessings that you pour down. We thank you, Lord God, hallelujah, for the favor that you continue to show us, oh Lord God, hallelujah. We thank you for the fire in our belly, oh Lord God. We thank you for the hunger for the word, oh Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you for your visitations, oh Father God. We thank you for waking us up in the middle of the night. We thank you for those dreams, hallelujah, that seem so horrible, hallelujah. But you're letting us know that the enemy is coming to kill, steal, and destroy. And we get up and we cancel, hallelujah, every single thing that comes up against us in the mighty name of Jesus. Because we stand on your word in faith, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God, for what you're doing in this time, hallelujah. Because without you, we are nothing, but with you, we are everything. And may we continue you praise God to move in your business to move in your will father God doing what you have called us to do as submissive servants father God hallelujah as submissive family members hallelujah as submissive children hallelujah of yours oh father God I pray right now that we continue to be obedient to your call that we will do exactly what we're called to do and that we will flow in your rhythm of fasting as we are consecrating to you. Hallelujah. Let this day not be the last day of fasting for your people, Father. Let this day, hallelujah, be the beginning, hallelujah, of an elevated spiritual season. Let this day right here, hallelujah, be an unfolding for your people, oh, Father God. That they can reach depths that they never thought they could reach before, oh, Father, because you have given them the strength and you have given them the death, oh Lord God. And you have sent the angels before them, hallelujah, so that they will have what you say they will have in Jesus' mighty name. 
We love you and we honor you and we glorify you, Jesus, with all our hearts, minds, and soul. We love you, Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I pray that you believe it and receive it in Jesus' mighty name. I pray that you receive what the Lord has for you. Hallelujah. I'm so grateful for day 21, y'all, but that's it. I love you with the love of Christ. Peace and blessings until next time. Hallelujah. I will be putting up information of the fast, praise God, in the community section. Also, um, for those of you who did not get the community message, um, I am giving away five of my books, praise God, hallelujah, 50 prophetic tips. I will be mailing these out for those of you who are emailing me, only five people, y'all, praise God, hallelujah, so I have five copies to give out, but if you email me at allmaxine at gmail.com, praise God, you will receive your copy in the mail in Jesus' mighty name with a bookmark, hallelujah, a special little bookmark, praise God, hallelujah, and it will be a signed copy in the mighty name praise of God. Jesus, hallelujah, but just to let you know, praise God, that I appreciate you, and there will be, uh, you know, just an appreciation special loving message to you, praise God, you for those of you with the Lord, praise God, and that is so important when you are doing um, any type of prayers and you're just trying to get organized. And this is one great way of one great tool for anybody who is coming into the body of Christ, um, may not even know Christ, praise God, and just want to know, well, how do I pray and what do I do and how do I structure this and how do I walk in the spirit? What does that look like? What do I have to do? You know, this is a great way of just structuring that for yourself. And sometimes we don't have that, we, we, but we also need to understand that you know, our walk is personal with God. So what does that look like? And even though it's compiled with various prayers, you can apply these steps to any, any area of your life in that order, in Jesus' mighty name. I pray that you are blessed by this word. I pray that those of you who would like a copy, praise God, remember, email me, allmaxine at gmail.com, that you do that, praise God, and you'll get yours in the mail. And I also just want to share this. A fast is coming up really, really soon, praise God, hallelujah, within the next two weeks, y'all, within the next two weeks, um, I saw it in the spirit. And so I will be putting information in the community section for that fast. So please look out for that. Um, pay close attention to that if you want to be a part of the fasting, praise God. And remember, this isn't something that we're just doing. It's we're being called to do it by God. And when, we, when we're called to do something by God, you know he's in it, y'all. You know he's structuring things. He's going to encounter you. It's going to be elevation for you, increase for you. You know, we're not doing this. I know some people will do a fast and they say, well, I'm going to, I'm doing the fast, but I'm going to do it because I'm, I want to lose weight, praise God. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm on the small side, y'all. Praise God. Hallelujah. I would be one of those who would say, um, I'd rather not fast. I'd rather eat, <laughs> you know, but praise God. Hallelujah. I'm going to do what God called me to do. So if he says fast, I'm going to fast y'all. Hallelujah. And it, I, everything else is out of the, out of my mind frame. Praise God, because I'm going to be obedient to what he's calling me to do, because I know there's a reason in Jesus mighty name. And I pray that you, uh, jump on that as well. Praise God. And also, I'll be sending out a notice, praise God, for anybody who want to join a prayer hub. I sent out a newsletter about that, praise God. But anybody who wants to join a prayer hub, um, I'll be sending out information for that because a prayer hub is coming on Weed and Barley. And, um, you know, those of who know me know I love to pray, praise God, hallelujah. But I also know that many of you have been reaching out. And um, many of you love to pray too. Praise God. Hallelujah. So we want to make sure that we create a community, a praying community, because, uh, you know, those who pray together, you know, what it says is we stay together. Where do we stay in the body of Christ? Hallelujah. And we want to be supportive of one another as we are on our journey with the Lord. And as we're elevating, increasing, um, receiving the revelation from the Lord, that we will have a solid place where we can pray and know that the prayers that we are praying for each other are, are pure they're genuine praise god hallelujah and most of all they're biblical praise god because we're going to stand on this scripture in jesus mighty name all right y'all be blessed in all your ways love you with the love of christ peace and blessings until next time you did it congratulations again amen